Hello everybody. I hope you're well today. Raining here today. It just started. Just a light rain. It's going to be passing soon. Some thunder. Mean looking clouds. Uh, look out east of uh, this location in northwest Oklahoma. I guess last night they had some good ones that way too. Missed us. But Seen it coming. I got a few clips of the cloud on its way here. I'll show you here in a little bit. Uh, my last video, I had to redo it. Uh, seems that uh, Bob Marley's old record label doesn't understand fair use for nonprofit activist use. But uh, that's the way it goes, isn't it? You know, my grandpa once told me, and this is something I've noticed for a long time about our government and the laws they pass. When a law requires a lawyer to interpret it for you, then that law is not made to serve you or protect you in any way. It's made to serve and protect those the law was made by. And when uh, Congress and the Senate pass bills which take up volumes, it uh, reeks of special interest and uh, tyranny, actually. The Constitution is no longer valid. The Supreme Court made that judgment, which is an act of treason, since it's the job of the Supreme Court to uphold and protect the Constitution from said laws. It's no longer the people's government or the people's country We've been sold down the river by those in power. Uh, there's not been a good and fair election since Kennedy. All the elected people who get elected are picked long before the process begins. And they try to give us choices, try to show us well, this candidate's for this, this candidate's for that, to try to show you that there's an opposition going on, when in truth, they are both the same. They are both, they're both parties have sold out to the corporate panderers and money makers who put them there. You got companies such as Monsanto, that Monsatano, which is just a branch of a larger conglomerate, which uh, actually contribute to both sides in a presidential election or even in congressional and senate elections. In this way, they ensure that whoever is elected will owe them something and they will remind them of this. In the next election for president, and my suggestion is to write in the candidate and don't pick any of the above. Find an independent candidate that uh, does not get media attention because they're not some big name that corporations want you to hear about and write their name in. That's the only uh, way you're going to get someone in office that uh, will actually be serving the people and not the corporations. We used to live 
in a free uh, capitalist society and people want to blame capitalism for the problems we face today it's not capitalism's fault and capitalism by its nature has its own control mechanism if the people do not like what that corporate that company is doing they will not buy their product but in corporations uh, take advantage of the free market system and then run everybody else in competition out of business or buy them out and they become what is known as a fascist corporation fascist corporatism which is one of the problems that uh, the world has faced for many years is the fascist corporatism these corporations which were behind people like Adolf Hitler and Stalin and uh, the Japanese Tojo during World War II it is these corporations which are worldwide conglomerates have no national affiliation or internationalist elitists that run these things they're behind the drive for this new world order and the control over your everyday life and then um, they don't care what you think because once they get control of a certain market they know you have to buy their product because it's the only game in town um, and they oftentimes get subsidized by governments tax breaks from governments as well as uh, limits to lawsuits and even some lawsuits not allowed against them because of the control they have over governments there is a solution we outnumber them unfortunately the vast majority of the population which does still have jobs is probably working for them now they're not evil themselves many of them are probably good people trying to just get by and make a living it's the only game in town but uh, are you happy with your job do you like being a, a wage slave now Obama came out with a speech he talks about how he wants to have a government be partners to private industry and private companies be a partner to the entrepreneur and self-employed businessman Mr. Obama get the hell out of my way the government whenever the government gets involved as a partner in something they want control over that something and it is no longer a free enterprise just another means in which those in power can control us and I'm sure if he gets his way we cannot refuse him this would be kind of like a mob tactic now think about it now on to the pictures I had Hope you enjoy them. And have a good day, everybody. Peace, love, and understanding. I'll be with you.